To help with that, I called in our most recent human addition to the farm, my brother Chris. <laughs> Sorry you left uh, sunny California. The weather's great. <laughs> it's glorious. It's been raining a ton. Dan and I go way back. We're twins. Legally and scientifically, Dan was first. I gave it to him. I was like, dude, have it. Like, I'll be there in like a split second. Can you get the gate? Yeah. Cool. There you go. Hey. You got it. Chris, rule number one, when you open a gate, close it. Oh, it's just like, dude, I didn't do it. You didn't. I don't even know how to adjust the blade. I'm just the guy who drives. You don't even know how to drive. Can you open this? I still <laughs> have not figured this out. <laughs> the young buck. Challenging. Chris, get away from it so you don't get sucked in. I know. Power takeoff. God. I'm so proud of my boys. So. Is there water right now? No. We'll have to okay. set that up. Just put buckets out, out on the field. A trough. What's a trough? <laughs> <laughs> Remember, there are no dumb questions. It's true. You're pushing but... it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm setting the bar for sure. Yeah. Today is actually the first day where I'm like contributing, where I'm not in their way. Where they're trusting me with tasks. I got a walkie-talkie. People are excited. You know, it's good for your health to be outdoors. More. I agree. It's good for your mental health to be outdoors more. It really Definitely. is to have your feet on the earth instead of on concrete. It got you back out on the farm, too. It did. It did. And me. And, yeah, you too. When the kids were growing up and we would come back to my mom's farm here, they had no idea what was going on. They were suburban kids, and they would just run and chase at the animals. And so I never thought in a million years that my kids would be back on this family farm.